New developments today in a story we brought to you is breaking news yesterday at 5 and 6. An Indianapolis swim coach is out on bond after being accused of child seduction. 36-year-old Matthew Carrington is the former assistant swim coach from North Central High School. He entered a not guilty plea during his initial hearing this morning. He's accused of sexually touching a 16-year-old student and sending her sexual text messages. He's been fired from his position at North Central. This whole case came to light because of the girl's mother. She found the inappropriate text between Carrington and her daughter. And she did it using spyware. RTV6 reporter Jack Reinhardt is live in our newsroom with information all parents should know. Jack? Well, Erica, when a parent hands a child a cell phone, they're giving them a device to communicate. But it also means that other people now have the means to communicate with that child. People you may not know, like, or trust. And that's why a lot of people are turning to electronic spyware. Any comment at all, sir? When 36-year-old swim coach Matthew Carrington allegedly sent inappropriate text messages, the 16-year-old student athlete wasn't the only one reading them. According to the charging information, the victim's mother had secretly installed mobile spyware on her daughter's phone and was reading them, too, before calling police. Whether it's an app that's available or whether it's just, hey, we're on the same phone plan, so I get to see your text messages, I think it's very important for parents to do. Uh, you have parents who say, every now and then, I just walk up to my child and I say phone check and the phone gets turned over and I get to look through it and figure out what it is that you've been doing. More and more parents have turned to electronic spyware to monitor their children's electronic and internet communications. So you monitor your children's activity then? Yes, I do. This woman uses a service called Covenant Eyes, a monthly reporting program tailored to each individual child in the family. It's a software, it's a service that we um, subscribe to and it just has high alert for for profanity or you know high adult I have my son's Instagram account on my phone so I watch all of his posts and keep track of what's going on and you know I'm sure there's ways that uh, he knows how to get around things so I can't see that but uh, for the most part I try to keep my eye on everything. According to the charging information, Matthew Carrington was asking the 16-year-old to have sex without the mobile spyware. Who can say what or how far the relationship would have gone? You think about what you prevent by doing this. And if you think it's a hard conversation to have with your child, hey, I've been reading your text messages. I can't imagine the difficulty in having a conversation with your child. Hey, mom, I'm pregnant. And the person who did it is much older. And so it's okay if not encouraged to electronically eavesdrop on your child's cell phone or internet usage, but don't try it with an adult like a spouse or a girlfriend. According to Indiana State Police, that's wiretapping, and that's a crime. Reporting live in the newsroom, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6.